In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Vectorizer and Vector Magic to see which one's better at vectorizing colouring pages. So, Vectorizer and Vector Magic, what are they? Well, they're image tracing softwares. Now, all that we have to do is input an image just here, and then it's going to turn that image into an SVG or a vector and at the click of a button. Now what we're going to do is run through both of these softwares and I'm going to give you my opinion on what I personally think is the best one. Now at any point you want to check out these softwares there will also be a link down in the description for you to come and check out. Now first things first the thing with Vectorizer is that this is completely free, as we can see just here, free while in beta, whereas Vector Magic is a paid tool and you can either pay monthly or a one-off payment. Now again, we're going to get more into that nearer the end of the video, but what we're going to do now is just compare both vectors. So, let's go and get an image from here, one of the colouring pages I have available. Let's click download. Let's go back over to Vectorizer. We're going to take that image and drop it in. Then it's going to do its thing. We're going to go over to Vector Magic as well, do the same. Drop it onto the screen and then it's going to do its thing as well. So, while that's doing its thing, let's come back over to Vectorizer and let's just give that one more second. And there we go. On the left hand side is the original, on the right hand side is now the vector. So if we zoom in on this, we can see, look at those nice crisp lines. If we roll through the page like so, we can check it out, we can zoom in a little bit more, and we can see it's infinitely scalable because vectors do not use pixels unlike this image just here so as we've zoomed in as far as we can we can see this is really pixelated and really doesn't look good whereas now on the vectorized image we can see it looks a lot better now let's just zoom out like so let's put that back to there and let's head on over to vector magic and have a look at the same now again we can scroll in we can zoom in right as far as we can go and we can see looks perfect because again this has also now been vectorized the left hand side is the original image the right hand side is now the vector image and again looks really good now between both of these if we just zoom out a little bit to there let's just get rid of this it's saying that the image was quite large so it just shrunk the image ever so slightly which isn't a problem at all but now if we go back over we can see that between these two images these two different softwares there's not really much difference now why is that because they both do exactly the same thing they both vectorize your images so right off the bat we can see there's not really going to be much difference when using both of these the main one being right here on the left hand side this vectorizer.ai at the moment is completely free whereas if we come back over to here vector magic you have to pay monthly for now over here on vectorizer we have a few different options where we can zoom in and things like that just here or we can click download not many options whereas if we come back over to vector magic we have all those options there as well we also have some other options just there but here on the right hand side we have detail level high medium or low which you don't get with vectorizer.ai you can also have colors so this is custom or unlimited they do also have instructions for these so right here if you click on that it's going to open a new tab and explain more same with just here for colors if you click on there it's going to explain more about the colors but then there's the palette which they have just here and then they also have advanced so you can edit the result 
you can remove background and you can hand pick certain parts on your images as well. So with Vector Magic, you do have a lot more features than what you get with Vectorizer.ai. So with that being said, I personally, now remember this is just a preference, I actually prefer Vectorizer.ai over Vector Magic. Now, why is that? Well, again, it's just a personal preference, but one of the main reasons is that Vectorizer.ai is currently free, so it does not cost you anything to use. But if we click on download just here, they've recently added all of these options as well. So they have SVG, EPS, PDF, DXF, and a PNG. You can also change the SVG version. They have SVG options. They have drawing styles for fill shapes, stroke shape outlines, and many more. Shape stacking, group by, geometric primitives, allowed curve types, line fit quality, and gap filler as well, along with stroke line just here. Now, if we come over to Vector Magic and click download, we don't get all of that option. We only have a few different options, and that's stroke and fill result, where we can click on SVG, EPS, or PDF, and over here, fill only result, and then it's the SVG, EPS, and PDF. Now, if we scroll down, it's just going to explain a little bit more about these options. But again, if we come back over to Vectorizer, we now have all of these options to choose from. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features and the pricing of these two softwares. So again, we already know Vectorizer.ai is completely free while in beta, as we can see just here. Now, if we scroll down to here, we can see Pick, Process, Download. If we scroll on more, we can see the features that it has. So it's Deep Vector Engine, Vector Graph, Full Shape Fitting. They have lots of great features as well. But if we come down to Facts, we can see when will the beta end. So it's going to end probably, as it says just here, in Q3 or Q4 of this year. So once that time comes, it is going to be a paid tool. But by then, because I actually really like this software, I will probably end up paying for it as well. It's just kind of a bonus that it is completely free. Now, if we scroll down, we can see file formats. What are vector images useful for? The resolution, transparency, pricing. Again, the service is free while in beta. So again, come through and check it out. The link will be in the description. Now, if we come over to Vector Magic, we can take a look at the pricing. So with this software, it's actually £7.99 a month. I don't know what that would be in dollars. I don't know if they keep it at $7.99 or at $9.99 per month. But nonetheless, it is a monthly paid subscription unless you pay for the desktop edition. So the monthly is online, whereas the desktop, you can get the software and have it on your device. Now with that, it's £249 for a one-time charge. Now there's one main benefit on why I might buy this further down the line, and we're going to take a look at that as well. Now, if we scroll to here, we can see that I have £15.99 credit towards the desktop edition. So when you're paying monthly, they give you credits. With those credits, you kind of get a discount for the standalone desktop application. Now, if we scroll down to here, we can see the differences between the online and the desktop. So if we take a look, you do get a few different features with the monthly subscription. The main ones being this, this is fully automatic, basic vectorization, and you also get EPS, SVG, and PDF vector output. Now, if we go to here, we can see that you get the powerful preview, the segmentation, the super convenient copy 
paste, input, and a couple of others just here. Whereas with the desktop, you get all of this, or should I say all of these features just here. And the main one that stands out to me is batch processing. So with the free vectorizer.ai tool just here, when you're turning your images into vectors, you have to do them one by one. It's the same on when you're using the monthly version of Vector Magic as well. You have to do each image one by one. So if you're doing a lot of images, that can really take some time. Whereas if you pay for the one-off payment of the desktop software, you're going to be able to do batch processing, which means it's really going to speed up your workflow. Now, this is something which I might purchase within the month or next couple of months, just to see what it's like. If I do decide to purchase it, then I will make a video and put it here on the channel so we can see all of the differences. So that's it, that's Vector Magic and also Vectorizer.ai. And from my own personal experience and trying both of these softwares, I just really prefer this one, Vectorizer.ai. Now again, if you want to check out these softwares, I will link them down in the description below. So, if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe so you can be notified for any future videos. And if you want to see the rest of my AI videos, click right here and watch this playlist.